Archtop guitars were first fitted with a pickup in 1935 when Gibson developed the ES-150. The guitar pickup came to be known as the Charlie Christian pickup, and it, along with all the other pickups designed for the Archtop guitar over the following decades, was designed to perform optimally with nickel strings. Uh, nickel strings, which we normally call electric guitar strings, are not the best sounding strings on an acoustic guitar. For the acoustic guitar, of course, we prefer a bronze or a brass string. It has better sonority, better low end, and just is uh, a lot bigger sounding. So now we need a new pickup, a new pickup that's balanced for the non-optimal magnetic distribution among the wrapped strings and the plain strings. So we need a pickup that's specifically designed for bronze strings. Well, what I'm using now is a pickup designed by Duneland Labs in Chicago. Uh, it has two coils. There's a sensing coil that uh, listens to the strings. And then there's a hum canceling or dummy coil which is hidden underneath the pick guard. And this coil cancels the 60 cycle hum that uh, a single coil pickup will pick up from the room. Here's the ebony box it goes into when it's, when it's rough. And after this coil is glued in there, we, we fill it up with balsa wood and, and then we shape it and veneer it so that it ends up looking like this. It mounts to the end of the neck and together with the dummy coil makes a wonderful sounding, very, very quiet electromagnetic pickup that balances perfectly with bronze strings that we like so much. So we have a stop set and now we will cut, check length, Good, close enough for this job. So that's the intended position of this. Uh, just like that. And the spec is well, that's where it belongs, right there. So we'll just hit this with a little cyano and move on to the next phase. So now, um, we'll just hand sand this at 320. And make a nice shape. Finish up with 800. Then, this is some wonderful stuff. This is a uh, um, 12 to 1500 grit, and it really does a great job of following up the uh, number 800 grit sandpaper.
So you now I'm taking out the big vertical scratches. Okay, we are now gonna sand this. It's a, a little bit of extra solder on the back of this. And we're gonna try and flatten this out a little bit. That's pretty good. We just want a nice flat surface so that the uh, pickup coil can glue in straight into this part. Okay, so next we're going to mix up some 5-minute epoxy. The reason we're using this five minute style epoxy is that um, unlike other epoxies that we commonly use in the shop that cure at room temperatures in a matter of hours, say, in order to formulate this fast setting epoxy, um, the chemists use a different kind of curing agent in the hardener, which I believe is a mercaptan. And that's what gives it um, its unique aroma. <laughs> so we mix it quickly so that we have a nice low viscosity. And it'll run off the knife here into the bottom of the case. So we're gonna try not to drop it in the, we'll try and drop it in the bottom like this so that we don't make a big mess on the sides that we have to clean up. And the idea here is that the five minute epoxy is, never really cures hard. And that's what we want because we, we're, we've got, organic material, wood, on the outside of this coil, and the coil itself um, of course is metal and plastic and it's not going to respond to changes in temperature and humidity, whereas the wood will. So it's always nice when you're gluing something organic to something that's not organic and not hydroscopic to use a, a, an adhesive with a little bit of elasticity um, so that it can comply with any differences in movement due to temperature or changes in moisture content. So I'll put this guy in there. Press down and we see the epoxy's coming up around the edges. Looks like we've put the right amount in there. Let's clean up the goo. Because after this sets, we will be gluing in more balsa wood, so important to get the extra epoxy out of here so we don't get in trouble with epoxy glue that we don't want. So here we are bonding the coil to the bottom surfaces, and we've used enough 
epoxy so that it's also filling up the little gap between the coil and the wood. Put a clamp on it to make sure it's all the way down. And that's good for now.